It's happened again. Buffalo police are investigating a fatal shooting involving a teenager. It happened early this morning. Good evening, everyone. I'm Claudine Ewing. Thanks for joining us. For more details on this latest homicide, let's check in with Channel 2's Liz Lewin. She is in our newsroom tonight, and she has more information about, as we mentioned, a homicide that happened in the city of Buffalo involving a teenager. Liz? Hi, good evening, Claudine. Well, police have now confirmed that 19-year-old Royden Cave of Brooklyn was shot and killed early this morning at what appeared to be some type of off-campus party. Cave was a freshman at Buff State studying criminal justice. Now a reminder that this comes just days after the Buffalo Peacekeepers met with business leaders and community members to address this very type of violence that continues to take young lives. Now the investigation, as I mentioned, is ongoing, but what we do know is that BPD responded to a call just after 340 this morning on Bird Avenue. 19 year old Cave was inside the residence when police say he was shot. He was then transported to ECMC by ambulance where he later died. At this point, we don't have many other details than that, but I did reach out to Pastor James Giles with the Peacekeepers, who had some very important and powerful messages to share with me, the first of which being that while we are seeing improvements in homicide and gun violence compared to even one or two years ago, the number of teens who are dying has increased by a staggering amount. Community work is just one piece of the puzzle, Pastor Giles says the bottom line is gun legislation and convictions as they relate to gun possession need to change. There's only so much we can do. We we need to begin to lean into some of the legislations around these tough, these gun laws that allow people to do this, that allow people to circumvent existing gun laws, it allows people not only to purchase them, but, but we're going to have to get double, I mean, all law enforcement, I mean, federal agencies, county and state, and state agencies to say, hey, we have to stop the trafficking. We have to stop them from getting these guns. This is sad and tragic. And, and my heart bleeds. My prayers certainly go out for those parents that have the, that, that are in the position. My grandson, he, he telling me this morning, Ramsey, I told him I was going on this report. He said, uh, Grandpa, you know, I was at that party. He said, but something didn't feel right to me and I left. Yeah, the president of Buff State sent out an email just before 11 a.m. saying in part, quote, on behalf of the entire Buffalo State community, I express my heartfelt condolences to the Kay family and Royden's beloved friends. Our hearts ache for you during this difficult time. And part of that preventative work, Claudine, that also needs to be done is highlighting the positive work that's being done in a lot of these communities. Pastor Giles says he wants to see more motivational storytelling done to help uplift the young people of color, many of whom are contributing to their peers in their neighborhoods and just need an opportunity to share that good work. In the Information Center, Liz Lewin, Channel 2 News.